Okay, so I think I want it a little sideways. All right, there we are. So, I am going to um, go and get my vintage buttons, and I will be right back. Okay, so the buttons are dry now. So, we're good with that. That's good to go. I love the front. Uh, it's everything that I think needs to be there. Um, so, we're just going to go with this. All right, so for the back. All right. I have made a little bit of a collage here with just a, a copy stain tag. I just went ahead and sewed one of the little postage stamp images on it. So that would be ready. And uh, what I want to do is I'm going to take a little bit of music sheet here. And I just want to give this a little something more in the back for this pocket. So, and you cannot hardly see that pocket, but, but right there's our pocket. Okay. So I'm just going to, oops, going to poke a hole for my glue again. Let's see if I can get this unstuck real quick. Sometimes that sticks really fast on that. If I can't, I'll just grab a different bottle of glue. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to get this kind of glued down. I want it to be on the edges. Okay. Alright. Let's see. Am I upside down? I think I'm okay. Okay, so there's that, and then I'm going to put that on, and we're going to just kind of stick it here. Okay, so there is my uh, little pieces there. I'm just going to attach this uh, completely down. I could just do part of it, and it could be a little house for a pocket, uh, something there if you wanted it. But I think, I think I'm going to just attach it down. That's what I think I'm going to do with it. Because you have the upper pocket anyway, so. Get it kind of on my threads, especially where I joined. And you know the good thing about these kind of altered um, little things, you don't have to sew. I just enjoy the sewing, so um, there was a time when I didn't sew anything. So uh, I really enjoy the sewing on the pages now. Okay, so there is our little tag, and I'm just going to kind of roll that string around. Okay, so I like that. And then uh, what I'll end up doing is probably just backing a couple or maybe just one of the postcards, uh, stitching around it. Well, like this one already has a place to journal, but I like to make it a little sturdier. So that's probably what I'll do. I'll probably take and, and back maybe one of these that, that I would want to back and just have it go in the, in the pocket. Like I said, you want to keep everything pretty flat uh, on these, so I have just got stuff everywhere. I've been playing with alcohol inks this morning and and uh, some seam binding, so my fingers are red, they're glued, they're, they're just a mess. So um, Anyway, so guys, here is the cover. I like the cover. I like everything about it, so I'm pretty happy, pretty happy with this. Uh, I might even attach this string down a little bit. It looks like it needs to just kind of go that way anyway. So I think I'm just going to attach that with a little glue. Okay, so I like that. Okay, now for the journal. Uh, I've pretty much got my pages in order because when you do a journal, uh, what did I do with it? When you do a journal, you kind of want to, I mean, all you're doing is rearranging papers, cutting them down to size, and there are tons of tutorials out there, and and um, I have some tutorials as well with the uh, pamphlet stitch and how to do a bag journal, basically the same uh, as any pamphlet stitch. So what I've done is I picked 
what piece of paper out of the 12 by 12 I wanted my cover to be. I folded it where I wanted it and then I cut it down. I That way I knew exactly how to cut it over here because I knew I wanted this complete uh, image on the front. I did. If I had uh, cut it down and not folded it, it would have ended up maybe, you know, over here, over here. So I folded it first exactly where I wanted the image to be. Then I cut it down to size. So uh, here is the inside because it had the two little squirrels here and it was going to be off center. I added a piece of fabric and it not only did it reinforce the spine for the pamphlet stitch to go in, um, I have a couple, of, a couple of little pockets now. I actually just glued the center. Well, I didn't measure. It may be off center, but I just put some glue here in the center. And what I did was I made two little pockets out of it. And I'm not going to put anything in those pockets, like I said, because the journal has to be not so bulky when you're going to put it inside uh, um, the folder. So I'm going to leave that for whoever would like to stick some things in there. I'm not going to bulk it up uh, too much with what I put in there. So this will be the cover and I have stitched around it with the pink thread. Uh, I'm going to leave the back just like it is. I'm not going to put anything else uh, there. And then I may, of course, put something here on the back. We may put a, a Merry Christmas or, or something. I don't know. We might do a little something on the back there, like so. Uh, but uh, anyway, so I've got my papers rearranged. i got my cover ready. So this is uh, kind of where I'm going with my papers. And what I'm going to do, and I'm not going to do it on camera just to save time, I'm going to go in and I'm going to go ahead and decorate these pages. Um, it won't be a whole lot of, like I said, a whole lot of decorating because of the bulkiness. So um, I'm going to do that off camera. I'll uh, come back on and kind of show you what I've done with it, and then we will bind it in the book, and that will be that will be it. So. Anyway, and it always takes me a little while to figure out what I'm going to do on the inside. I have used a new little edge cutter. I actually bought it at Tuesday morning. I know that Hobby Lobby still has it. Um, I've seen it just the other day, but this is a We Are Memories Keeper. They are the little wheel here. Um, this is not new. It's a fairly old tool here. Uh, but it has the perforator, the score line... Uh, the straight cut, but I bought it for these three little wiggle edge uh, edge um, cuts. And so that is actually what I used on this. I think this almost looks like a nice tor, tor edge. I don't know if you can see that or not. But that's what it looks like, just a nice torn edge. And so... I use that on this and I really like that. I've used that tool several times uh, since I bought it. But uh, anyway, so I'm going to get this a little decorated. I'll be back and I'll kind of show you what I did and we'll bind it in the book and then we'll get it ready to put in our folder. So, Okay, so I have got um, the decorating done that I'm going to do other than, you know, maybe put something across the back here. Uh, but for the most part, I am pretty well finished. Um, and we're going to get ready to bind the book. So I'll kind of show you what I did on the inside. And of course, you know, the two pockets um, here that, I, that I've that i left. I showed you that. I have made another pocket to slip a tag in. And I am not going to fill um, this pocket. That is for whoever the recipient is can do that. Uh, I've added some more of Calico Collage's um, words there. And I it looks like I'm a little crooked here, guys. I'm going to kind of straighten up here a little bit. Uh, uh, Calico Collage's Mistletoe Kisses there, the little Christmas words. Then uh, here's my music sheet, and I've just added Ho 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 and the fabric on the music sheet. I've got Tis the Season there. Which I think actually in the beginning, you know what, I've got this out of place. So 
somewhere I've got that out of place. This actually was the, the beginning of the book. Okay, so I did get it a little, yeah, because that was the beginning of the book. Somewhere I just kind of got it out of, out of place there. Let's see, in the pocket. And I added actually one of these little uh, crocheted, or not crocheted, but tatted um, pieces there. And then I've got some little uh, rosettes there. Added the a doily with the little kitty there. And then here's just a long piece of um, journaling, which actually could go either one. I, it was too puffy with them both in, putting two of them in. And I think I actually like it in the back a little better. I think she just needs to be um, kind of by herself there. Okay, so there'll be that. And then more, uh, just some little music she'd have sewed on. Made another little collage there. And then I've just added a little collage there. Just basically, mainly, these are for journaling or if you're going to add some photos. Here's a little pocket, and I am going to actually stick a little, a little bunny book in this, in this pocket here. I made that um, just for that purpose. And then uh, I'll actually show you. It's just some various papers just put in there for a little book. I might just actually put that on the top there. And then uh, just some of that fabric stitched on there. I always like to put something I didn't, but you know, you could almost, I could almost do like a naughty and then or nice too. Oh, I think I'd like that. So I may put that on there. Let's just, let's just do that. I, I really like the way that looks. Oops. I just like the way that looks. So let's just stick it on there. So we'll do naughty or nice. Yeah, that's just what that needed, I think. And we may even take that in the and because I just snipped it, I mean, they're not going to be nice and straight. I mean, that's just... Yeah, we'll just do naughty or nice. I kind of like that. Well, just like that. So, let's just add a little more glue. That doesn't look like it's going to stick real, real well. I've lost my uh, little uh, sheet here to... Okay, so there's naughty or nice, and I, I like that. That just needed that. Okay, and then we've got this, and then we've got another little collage there. Oh, I've got a rip piece, but you know what? I'm leaving that just because. I mean, that's. I may. I may just put a little something there. Maybe a little um, music sheet or something. Sometimes when you do that paper, it just it just does that. And I didn't notice it before I put the book together, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take it out. So what we'll do is we'll just cover it with a little, we'll cover it with a little um, music there, and get that held, and then we'll probably add. Oh, let's see, let's add a little piece up here just to. Just to kind of give it a little, uh, what do you want to call it, balance there. Let's see, I'm looking for another word, and I don't have one cut out, I don't think. Nope. So let's, let's see if we can find another little, let's do the cookies and milk. I'm going to cut this out okay and we'll just we'll do the little cookies and milk here and we may just do it the same way we may just we'll just do 
I like it milk and cookies. I don't ever say cookie uh, cookies and milk. I say milk and cookies. So let's uh, let's just do that right there. Okay, there's our there's our cookies. Okay, and we'll do our milk. Okay, and we're just going to do milk there, and we'll do that little and right there. All right. And so there is our repair on the page. How about that? Okay, and then nobody knows that but you. Of course, you can see it on that side a little bit, but it's it's nice and held. So, okay, so then we have our milk and cookies, and some more little collage space. All right, so I like that, and I'm just done with that, I do believe. So the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to get ready to to bind it. So, um. What I have done is I've just measured this. It's like three times. I go kind of heavy. One, two, three times and a little hangover. The length of the the uh, journal for my, for my uh, string there that I'm going to bind with. And as soon as I find where my, uh, where my, uh, yeah, there it is, where my little needle loops went, Okay, so I want to check and make sure all my pages are kind of, especially the ones that are going to be a little shorter, like my music sheets. Yeah, that's good. And I'll probably have to tack that down with a little glue there. And then I'll do that after the fact. Okay, music page looks good. Okay. Alright, so that looks good. All right, so I'm ready to bind it. So, let's get it stuck in there and get our center here. Okay, and so when I get ready to bind, I always want to make sure I'm kind of even in the spacing here and here. So, and I just eyeball center. I don't really um, measure, just eyeball. Can get my needle threaded here all right all right so I'm just gonna and because I want the strings on the inside are you yeah I want the strings on the inside I'll say I might change it but I think I just want it I'm gonna go from in out because I want my strings on the inside to tie if I wanted to tie my strings on the outside, I would go from the outside in. That's that's the rule of thumb for your pamphlet stitch. Okay, so I'm gonna poke my hole there and let's uh, always make sure I'm getting through. And then bring your needle up through there. And then what I do is I just kind of eyeball and make sure, you know, that I'm just kind of going the same, the same distance. I mean, it, it doesn't have to be an exact science, so I just guess at it. Okay, oops, and this one has to go inside out. Okay. All right, and then we're just going to come back through. And I usually go ahead and just re-poke that so I can make sure that it's ready for the needle. All right, and then I want what I'm doing is I'm taking it on. This will be on one side of the string, and then I want my needle to come up through on the other side, so that when I tie that, if they're on each side of the string, uh, I. When you pull it to pull it tight, pull it away from each other. That way you don't tear your pages. And just make sure it's nice and tight on the outside. And then just give it, I just give mine a double tie. Is what I do. 
and I think I'm going to tie a little bow in this one. So I don't have any little ditty dinky punches to to um, glue any kind of anything on the edges of the string. So all right, so I think I'm just going to tie a little bow. Okay, so there is the book. And um, like I said, I'm and I'm not gonna actually I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put anything on this cover because the cover is just sweet the way it is. I don't even think it would need anything. Merry Christmas or or anything like that. I just we can check, but I I just really like it, just like it is. Let me cut this out and we'll. We'll kind of double check and see if there's anything there. Oh, you know, that kind of looks all right right there. It kind of fills that in a little bit. So maybe, maybe we do want that. Okay, and because I want this to be roughed up a little bit, to use my knife because I'm not a straight cutter. I mean, when I cut something out, it is not going to be straight. That is a guarantee. So I'm just going to rough up the edges a little bit so that you don't notice the, you know, don't notice that it's not straight. It's just be all, all rough. Okay. All right. And then I think I, I'm not going to put no cheesecloth or anything. I'm just going to adhere that down just like that. So let's do it. Let's just do it. And then we can't change our mind. Okay. And I'm just going to center it. I have just kind of learned, I got me a box of these. These are like your kitchen towels. I don't know if they sell them all year long or if it's just during the holidays, but I bought them in a box where I could just keep them right here in the craft room handy and not have to have a paper towel roll. And that way I could just kind of get that glue. I get so much on my fingers, a lot of times everything's sticking to my fingers. So I have just decided to um, uh, get me some of these paper towels and keep them handy. Okay, guys, so this is bound. And I know that I want to put a little something on the back. I'm not sure. I really like this little Merry Christmas. I really like that, and I think that's just what I'm going to put there. Uh, no fabric, no anything. I guess I could make it like a... Let me try something here. What if we made it like a little ornament? Uh... Nah. Nah, scratch that idea. I think I'm just going to put it... Just going to put it like this. Just a little Merry Christmas on the back. Just for fun. Okay. And I did stitch around my little um, Merry Christmas here. I did do that. Oops. Oh, this glue here. Um, it is really one of those glues that when you put it down, um, it's going to stick pretty quick. There's no playing around with it. And it looks straight, so that's what I was looking for. I thought maybe I had gotten it a little crooked, but I think it'll be all right. And I want all my edges stuck down. So let's get the edges stuck down really good. Okay, so there's our little Merry Christmas, and we wish you a Merry Christmas on the front. 
All right, now, ladies, here is the true test. Um, okay. Oops, I'm gonna, I'll show you the true test here in just a minute because I have done this twice, measured it twice. So what do they say? Measure twice, cut once, I think is the rule when you're sewing. So that also could apply to paper. You know, measure twice, cut once. Okay, so here's our here's our folder. Okay, I'll, 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 our altered folder. Now, the test is to get it in here. Aha, it does fit, yes. Okay, so there's our um, altered file folder journal pocket. Okay, and here I did put um, my little tab in here, and then I did add this I Love Christmas. I added that after. Okay, so let's pull this out, and then I'll kind of show you this, because I didn't want to overly pull that where it was so tight. So here I just added one of those little tattered pieces there. I just backed it with some of this um, embossed kind of um, copy dyed paper. Okay, and it just sits in the pocket. So, so now I need to decide, do I want to tie this shut or just leave it where you slip it in and out? I did purchase some brand new... Um, what did I do with it? And I may have to go and get it. Some new white sari silk that I think would be really pretty. So let me go grab that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went and I got my um, sari silk. And I found, I was not very happy with this, but I found that uh, the person I ordered this off of has cut this and marked it with <gasps> blue ink pen. So not very happy about that you know anything mark it with pencil don't mark it with a blue ink pen so buyer beware can you see that blue ink pen mm-hmm so that doesn't look very nice on your uh, journal and I probably cannot get that blue ink pen out of there so, not very happy about that. But I did uh, use what I had. So, it doesn't all have blue ink pen on it. Just where she had not cut it in the line. But this is what I went for. What I did was I just simply tied a bow. And then uh, tied some knots in it. And what I will do is I will slip that this away in there. And then I have this little bow on the top. How fun, how fun, how fun. So, guys, this is the little altered file folder pocket with your journal. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I uh, hope to make more tutorials in the new year um, if time allows. I know that we've started a lot of overtime where I work, and so that always puts a big damper on my Fridays. I... I work 10 hour days Monday through Thursday and then Friday um, is usually a free day for me uh, and then Saturday and Sunday I just can get my running done and the things that I need um, to get and I can work you know at least one of the days Friday or Saturday uh, depending on how I make which one my run around day so uh, but since we are working days uh, Fridays all day and it looks like it's going to happen for some time um, it's going to kind of put a damper on my my crafting. So um, anyway, here is the um, uh, the journal on the folder. So guys, have a great day. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial.